Life Reset was my favorite book of 2019 so far. Could book two be even better? Welcome back to another edition of Dro Talks. Dro here. Today, I'm going to be talking about Life Reset Book 2, Player vs. Player. This is a new era online series written by Shermer Kuznets and narrated by Jeff Hayes. If you saw my last review, uh, you will know that I absolutely loved and highly recommended this book. It was my second art lit RPG book, and I was completely taken away. It was very well done. So, if you haven't listened to that book, beware, because I'm going to talk about spoilers in this book for book one. Book two will be spoiler free, so you're safe for book two. But book one, go ahead and check out my other video. Link to that will be below. And uh, pick up the book and then come back here and then we'll talk about it. So this book, book one, was recommended to me by Danny Bates, who's a, a fellow audiobook YouTuber. A link to his channel will also be below. Check out his channel. Give him some much deserved love and support. His videos are fantastic. And he actually has a, a life reset audiobook review as well. Basically, he recommended it to me. Makes sense. So book two picks off right after book one. So at the end of book one is a really defining moment in our protagonist's life in, in this video game. Up until the final moments, he still felt he was a player trapped inside a game. But he fights a level three boss, if I'm not mistaken, at level one. And obviously, he completely loses that battle gets taken and this virtual boss which i mean it's not a player it's just a ai controlling this boss doesn't know uh orwin is a is a actual a physical person and tortures him but in the most inhumane way it removes his eyeballs they're stabbing him they're you know the a death of a thousand a thousand cuts uh, and right before he's about to die they heal him and they do it again and they do it again so Orin gets out of this because of a couple uh, neat little powers that he has hidden. But during this torture, he experiences torture that no human could actually experience because we would die. So he, he goes through the abyss. I mean, he goes through a really, really rough series. And it just goes to show you how dangerous this type of technology could be. I mean, we've seen it in Black Mirror and now we're, we're listening to it in this book. So this event completely fractures Orin's mind. He completely commits to his character. He is a goblin. This is his world. And then he breaks out and he becomes a tier level two boss. So book two starts right after those events. And uh, when Orin was talking to the lawyers, he requested that players come and help him. Uh, actual physical players. So they do, they keep their end of the bargain. I mean, uh, they're, they're, it, this company is evil in the sense and there's actually some Easter eggs left in there to kind of show you that they're actually a little more evil than, than, than what meets the eye. But at the same time, they are trying to get this guy out of the game. They don't want to invest the resources that it would take to get him out through programming. But they are willing to meet with him halfway, if you will, and give him support that he needs on a certain level. So basically, two players come in. And uh, they go on a lot of quests together, uh, Orin with his goblins and his hobgoblins and his trolls because he conquered uh, another establishment a and these players and they do re they do form a bond. And, uh, and, and that's basically what this entire book is about. Orin continues to build his establishment. It's one of the best aspects of this book. It sounds like it should be boring when you hear the narrator uh, constantly repeating the the current levels of the establishment you know and where are the productivity levels how they're losing or gaining efficiency uh what's what's needed to get to the next spell or the next architecture design uh what resources are needed it sounds like it should be very boring and uh this may be boring to some people so just do keep that in mind that those elements are on there frequently but for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the way it was written. I'm not sure if it was just the superb narration. But I was the, I was deeply invested in the building of this establishment, which is key in this book. Because his arch nemesis that's waiting for these badges that Orwin is still holding on to is coming from. He found him and he's amassing a, a large army. And these players, players are... are 
players win games because they have very high levels. And even at tier 8 level bosses lose to large campaigns. And Orwin is just a level 2. So he has like almost no chance to defend against this onslaught that's coming his way. So there's a timer. There's a definite timer. And to make matters worse, one of the human players that is playing as a half-breed, kind of like him, but in a much more controlled fashion, they're not stuck in the game. They're sabotaging his settlement. They're making it harder for him. And he's trying to find out who it is. And, and then um, and they're just striking at the worst possible times imaginable. And right when you think Orvin's he, he's got the edge, he does not. And it's always an uphill battle. It is very exciting, very emotionally driven, very, very, very entertaining. And would I say this is better than book one? It, it's kind of hard to say because without book one, I mean, this would not be what it is. But I can definitely say it's as good as book one. So I'm going to redefine what I said earlier. L Life Reset, book one and two are the best books I've listened to in 2019 so far. And I've listened to some good ones. As I, I, I've listened to Planet Side that really took me by surprise. And a very short uh, novella, if you will, called Evil Eye that was also really good. So I've, I've been kind of on a good winning streak lately. I mean, uh, some really good, solid, entertaining books that I've just absolutely been devouring. And uh, so definitely go out there and check out Life Reset Book 2, Player vs. Player. You will not regret it. So have you listened to the Life Reset series or any lit RPGs? Comment below. Give me some suggestions because like I said, full circle, I am deep involved in lit RPG now. It's really come across my, my horizon and I'm really enjoying it. So thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to my videos. If you do like this type of content, please hit that like and subscribe. Ring that bell to get notified so you're staying in the loop. And also, I do uh, updates whenever Audible or I see any type of audiobook sells. So, you know, if, you, if you're into free audiobooks, free literature, subscribe. You know, you'll get that notification. <laughs>